Mr. Speaker, um, the essence of the, the bill in front of us is a, a no-brainer as it relates to the support that um, should be given. Um, however, Mr. Speaker, um, and, and the, the member for Beaufort North, um, he did um, thank and applaud the members of the, the board and, and other um, executive and my years of, of working in, in, in Beaufort, I am familiar with all the names. And um, I, while I, I am I'm aware of the, the, the different persuasion, but I believe they all have good intentions, Mr. Speaker, and they are they, they, they're well intended. Um, Mr. Speaker, but as a, a representative for a community in the South, and now that government is being asked to intervene and, and, and to have um, to guarantee various obligations, Mr. Speaker. There's a concern that has continuously come to me as a parliamentary representative as relates to people who, you know, seek the services of St. Jude's. Um, and the, the, the member rightfully said that in days of old, people would have brought provisions and other things, which is a fact, um, you know, and there would be that sort of battering system. But now, Mr. Speaker, you know, the cost of... Um, um, medical care is expensive. Um, obviously, the hospital requires the financing to operate. And then, Mr. Speaker, now we have, we have a situation where people would come to the hospital, whether they undergo various surgeries or whatever, they're not in a position to pay the full amount. They're given, you know, certain um, payment plans, Mr. Speaker. God forbid, some of these same people may have to come back to St. Jude's before they uh, have, have finished their payment plan, Mr. Speaker, and they're having difficulty accessing, you know, the services. And as a concern I have, Mr. Speaker, now that government has that such direct intervention, whether there will be some sort of leniency or, because what do we say that they cannot pay and we just don't provide them with the service? And I'm sure all members here have at some point in time have come to um, deal with people visiting our constituency offices seeking assistance to um, you know continue with some sort of medical assistance um, from St. Jude. So this is something we have to look at Mr. Speaker going forward until the universal health care or health insurance is put in place and you know that, that in itself will take a little while Mr. Speaker um, as much as I know we want to accelerate it but what do we do in the meantime Mr. Speaker we have the situation where somebody may have passed at St. Jude's and to get the death certificate for them to bury the person, they're asked, you have to clear the outstanding bill, Mr. Speaker, and sometimes the intervention of certain people is required. How do we address that? That's something that we have to start, because some of the people really and truly, and the, the member for Beaufort South, some of the, um, spoke to it earlier when you were speaking about the utility payments, some of the people really and truly just cannot admit it. And so, this is one step where we assist in St. Jude's. How can it fall back to assisting the people who have these challenges, Mr. Speaker. So I, 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 I fully support the bill, Mr. Speaker. It's necessary in the environment that we operate in, particularly under the new, I think, public finance management. Yeah, it is necessary, um, Mr. Speaker. But this is something we, we need to look at. And, and I'm sure members of the board are listening and maybe they could, you know, come to some other arrangement as to how some of these people can be assisted. Um, I await for the Prime Minister to discuss St. Jude's as an entity, and I, I truly agree that day because I do have you know, my own um, presentation I'd like to make on that, but as we deal specifically with this item, I, I support. Thank you.